<laughs> and we're going to turn our attention back to the start of the 1500 for the women 1500 meter B race here. Oh, there's going to be a belter. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> Who's your pick, Lyndon? Oh, there are not many names that I know in here. Actually, better call out the race first, shouldn't we? Is this the I think I've got to go through and circle who all my picks are with Luke asking every race and not being yeah, exactly. prepped. <laughs> 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 I've got the form guy on there, Harold's up this one. Sorry, Luke. Take it away, Lyndon. Call him oh. out. All right, lane one, Ashley Tragus. Lane two, Cassandra Hallam. Lane three, Niam Tibbet. Uh, lane four, Georgina Ryan. Gra uh, lane five, Grace Turner. Lane six, Amelia Bellevue. Lane seven, Ebony Dodamade. Couple of tongue twisters, lane, Lyndon. Uh, oh, lane eight, Sh Shania Murray. La lane nine, Mia White. Lane eight, Emily Miss Mrs. Uh, lane 11, Bianca Puglisi. 12, Jamie Lee Coe. Uh, 13, <laughs> Tess Mitchell. 14, Belinda Bozen. 15, Amy Bunage. Uh, 16, Simone Maledent. And finally, 17, Lucy Letchford. An apology for butchering everyone's name. Luckily, I didn't hold my breath, Lyndon. Lucky I didn't. <laughs> At least you got me a white right. <laughs> Couple of tongue twisters in there. Uh. Who's your pick, Lockie? Oh no! You I had, had like a whole three to start think about list it while to prep for it. I'm just going to pick a random name, name here. Because who's that? It's the Box Hill athlete, Ashley Tregus, with the early lead, gone through about 1.13. And she comes in with the fastest seed time, but they all are very close. On you can entry see it from times. a mile away. She she was the early favourite. So 4:45 is the time they will be chasing a few of the leaders. So there are three athletes who have claimed that to be there. PB, Ashley Trigas, Cassandra Hallam and Nima Tibbet. And they've all ran 4.45.0, oh, no milliseconds there. It is what, a, what a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> now we know Tim Crosby is on all of, uh, all of everyone's PBs and everything is very strictly seated in our Miles Club meets as we turn our attention back to the race. <laughs> <laughs> and they're looking very bunched, quite a few running really wide, uh, which I guess you get with those, all these... 445 runners we've got in there. I know. Three of them with the exact same times. Ruby Dixon has to be an early favourite as well. On the inside there. Is that a, a game nice showing any spot. bias? Not showing any bias there. But qu quite a few young girls in here, so um, hopefully they can get after some PBs. They seem to come a lot younger at that age. They do, they do. It is about that little athletics age, and that's what we're all about, little athletics, family, fun, fitness, and PBs, isn't it, Locke? That's it. <laughs> Free advertising. <laughs> little athletics, a little bit easier to call as well with just the centre names rather than the, the actual surnames of the okay. athletes there. Head up the back straight of the packed Lakeside Stadium. It's the old Zavarian who's it's hit Georgina the front. Ryan it is. 4.45.2 she holds a PB of. She'd have to be, you know, she's testing her gears right now, looking pretty strong. You'd have to think from here, she has to test the rest of the field out. Yeah, and they've really started to string out compared to that last lap. So you'd think she's maybe injected a little bit of pace into things. And it is either Emily Mitzes or Bianca Pulgisi from Athletics Essendon in second. It's Bianca there. It's Bianca in second. Followed by the athlete from Halebury College in Amy Bunnage. She's competing for Mentone tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and the athletes are coming up to the bell. It's 3.29 at the bell. So it won't be too far off that 3.45 pace up the top of the pack, which means the whole field will probably be dragged for pretty quick times in this B race. So 3.48, that's smack on 3.45 pace, guys. Yeah, and Georgina Ryan is still holding on to that lead, but she's got a couple of girls who aren't letting go just yet. I think they're on 406 pace lock. So there's Georgina Ryan, Grace Turner from South Melbourne up on her shoulder as yeah, we have 200 metres to go. Bianca Pulgisi as well hanging on with Amy Bunnage running a strong race in fourth. With Georgina Ryan coming around the bend, 120 metres to go. Grace Turner right up on her shoulder, not making it easy for her, and it will be Grace Turner from South Melbourne. 
50 metres out, running a strong race and just getting further and further into the lead. So it'll be Grace Sub Turner. 40 possibly? Ooh, just yeah. over. Big PB. Yeah. 442. And only 14. So it's a big run for that age. And very tight packed finish as well. I say there will be a lot of PBs, a lot of athletes under 450 mark in that race. So it's great, as we mentioned earlier, a lot of these younger up and coming athletes having a crack tonight. Getting all in there together, little athletes, Athletes Victoria, members. And we've got Georgie down there with the winner of that race there. Georgie, take it away. Grace Turner, who runs for South Melbourne, a 14-year-old who has just done a 13-second PB. What was the strongest part of your race, Grace? Um, I think that third lap I tried to really go because I find that once I get going, I just keeps going so that's good so I just tried and yeah good what do you put your PB down to Pardon? what do you put your PB down to tonight <laughs> your PB yeah oh you're the best time oh well um <laughs> the best time I've done oh, tonight's race <laughs> what do you put uh, tonight's success down to oh um all my training I think because I tried to train really hard and do a bit of different sports and rest when I need to and train hard when I and I need to, so yeah. Awesome, well, well done, and back to you, Lockie.